Hey everyone, XPS here, and welcome to the first episode of How to Play 80 Carries. In this episode, we're going to be reviewing Vayne. Now, start off with her skills. This is her passive right here. Um, she gains increased movement speed when she's chasing down enemies, so that's only when she's running towards them. On to her Q right now. Her Q is pretty much a dash, and once she uses it and she hits an enemy, she deals increased damage. Now, her W is uh, a spell that after hitting the enemy three times, she'll deal true damage. So, this is really good against champions such as Alistar or champions with high HP. On to her E, her Condemn. This is a knockback, and if the unit collides with a wall or something, he will be stunned. And here is her R. Now, she gains increased attack speed, I mean, increased attack damage, and she goes a lot faster when she has. Uh, the spell up. She also gains invi invisibility when she uses her Q. Now these are the usual masteries that you want to go for. Uh, 21 and 9 and here are the uh, runes that you, you want to use. So this is pretty much full AD. Now let's move on to some gameplay right here. Uh, this is pretty much early game where Vayne is really really weak. Her late game is really when she shines. If you have a farmed Vayne in your game, in late game, you're really gonna like it's really difficult to lose um, in late game if the Vayne has a full build and she has good positioning. It's really difficult because Vayne can pretty much 1v1 anyone um, when she has a full build. She Her damage late game is just outstanding. It's probably the best in the game right now. <clears throat> and um, she's amazing at dueling too. But early game and uh, mid game, she's not really that good unless she can get some good combos off with her Condemn and her, uh, her lane partner which uh, obviously you should be playing Vayne at the bot lane as she is an AD carry. Now, I really wouldn't recommend going with supports such as Janna or Alist, I mean uh, Janna or Soraka. It's usually good to go with supports like Tarik or even Alistar because you can land some great stuns and uh, makes do some like really awesome combos. Alistar knocks them up and then pushes them towards a wall. You condemn him. That's like three stuns in, uh, two stuns in a row. And uh, that's when Vayne really deals a lot of damage. If she can get her three, uh, her three uh, hits off, so she can get that true damage, she's gonna do tons of damage, and she'll be able to drop pretty much anyone. Now, when you're playing Vayne, your your main focus is really just farming. Early game and mid game, it's just farming. You, um, I'm just gonna tell you guys what items you should be building. When I play Vayne, I go, I start with uh, boots three because it's really like unless you have a support like Soraka or something which I really wouldn't recommend by the way um, there's no point in going for uh, boots because well look if you have sustained support you want to go for uh, Doran's Blade and if you don't you want to go for boots that's that's pretty much what you want to do but for Vayne um, I really like the mobility so I tend to go boots even if I do have a support with sustain um, not to mention like you know, if you're vain, you really want to farm, you want to stay in lane as much as possible. So, on to the build. Start Boots 3, get two Dorns into a Vamp Scepter. Once you have your Vamp Scepter, you want to upgrade that to... You want to upgrade your Boots to the Berserker Reef so you can get that increased attack speed. So you can, uh, you know, get some more, uh, co not Condemns, but uh, Silver Bolts off. And you can get that true damage in. Once you have your Berserker Greaves, your two Dorns, and your Vampire Scepter... You're gonna, gonna you're gonna want to go for a BF sword to build that into a bloodthirster. Now, once you have your bloodthirster, obviously you want to farm up those stacks. And uh, as your vein, you know your job is to farm like at all times. So until late game, obviously. <coughs> so you're just gonna farm up as much as you can, and uh, you want to try and go for a phantom dancer after that. Once you have the phantom dancer, you're gonna be like. That's, that's really one point in the game where you're dealing a lot of damage and that should be close to the end game or it, that should be in like mid game so that's when you're really starting to like be effective um, unlike other AD carries such as let's see Ezreal, Graves those are really good early game AD carries and um, honestly if you're gonna if you're looking to carry in solo queue I'm, I'm, I wouldn't recommend playing Vayne because She's really a, a champion who relies on the support a lot. If you can't get a good support to play with you, there's really no point in going vain because you're gonna have a, a hard time farming, and it's just gonna be like the game's gonna be just a whole pain for you. Right there, you can see in the game, I tried to flash to get a condemn off so I can hit him into the wall and push him back. That didn't really work, but we still ended up getting the kill, and I think yeah, we're gonna get the other kill here too. So that's a good exchange right there. But anyways, back to the build. So once you have your Bloodthirster, your Phantom Dancer, you're gonna go for a Last Whisper and even maybe a uh, Black Cleaver. 
Now, I never ever go for an Infinity Edge on Vayne. It's just something that I've never done. Uh, after I have my Black Cleaver, I'll usually go, after I have my Black Cleaver and my Last Whisper, of course, I'll usually go for a GA Guardian Angel or a Quicksilver Sash, depending on the other team's comp. Um, if they're really, like, heavy CC, I'm definitely, if they have, like, a Skarner or something like that, I'm definitely going to go for a QSS, but most of the times I'll just go for a GA because if I die, um, the lifesteal that I have, like, it's, it's just crazy on Vayne. The lifesteal is just amazing, Bloodthirst and everything. You can life steal so well. Uh, you deal so much damage too. So once you die with GA, I mean, you can pretty much just revive and hit the enemies and get all your HP back. Uh, right now, you can start to see in the game that the damage coming out from my vein right now is really insane. And this isn't even late game. This is like I can't even see how much time is it is right now. But regardless, it's the damage is really starting to be felt. And um, <clears throat> yeah, so. So that's tips when it comes to builds. Um, also, when you're playing vein, positioning is really important. You really can't get caught because you're pretty vulnerable. So you really want to make use of your Qs and your ult. When you ult, um, and you when you have your ult up and you and you press Q, you gain invisibility for a few seconds. I think it's like one or two, something like that. And that's really, really, really good for juking. Now maybe we can see here. Yeah, let's see how much damage. This is. That's just insane damage right there. I'm not sure if I'm going to get the kill. Yeah, I'm definitely going to get the kill because of my amazing ult and my amazing passive that lets me chase down graves. And as you can see right there, Tarek has quite a lot of armor. And I was able to burst him down insanely easily. So that's just an example of Vayne's damage. Now right now, let's see what we can do here with graves. The damage is just outstanding. So I flashed there because I was smoke screened. And um, smoke screen just slows me and I have no vision or anything like that. It was just difficult for me to, uh, I didn't want to lose him because I didn't have any red or anything right there. I didn't have anything to slow him, of course. <coughs> so, you know, now we can really see what kind of damage Vayne is doing. And, uh, I definitely do recommend her for ranked 5s or even, you know, if you feel confident about uh, a solo queue you're in and you're playing with friends or something, it's a really good idea to pick, to, uh, to pick Vayne. Now I'm just showing, you know, I want to show some of my deaths too, just to see like what kind of mistakes I made. Sometimes I overextend and I shouldn't be overextending. And uh, positioning is really like the most important thing on AD carries, and that's what you're gonna learn with time. I myself, I do not play AD carries that much. I I play uh, I main mid right now, and if you haven't heard, if you haven't you know noticed by checking my profile, if you're not like a stalker of me, something like that. Um, <coughs> I recently hit 1900. Uh, I hit like 19.30 and I dropped down to 18.33 and now I'm back at 19.07 I think or 19.08. So uh, yeah, I main mid at that rating and I will be um, releasing some... I think I'm just going to finish up the 80 carry series. So next episode is probably going to be Ezreal because right now he's like the flavor of the month. He's pretty much the AD that everyone's playing. Um, <coughs> the reason why everyone's playing him is because uh, he doesn't really rely on the support that much. So he's great for solo queue. Uh, he's just a bit, he's a bit like Quirky, um, both of them right now are, are top played in, uh, in, in high yellow or even any yellow. I, uh, I saw them a lot at like 1600 to 1900, but now they're, they're coming, uh, they're becoming popular down at, um, like the 1300 and something like that around that. So yeah, here again, here's just some more examples of vein damage and it's just, amazing the damage late game from Vayne uh, even though I'm not getting the kills you can just see how much of a help I am in these fights I'm staying up there you know my HP just isn't going down and if it is I'm just life stealing it back so right now we're gonna go get Baron and also guys please tell me if you enjoy this kind of video um, I've never tried this before this is like the first time I'm trying this making guides like this uh, I know that I used to release like 30 minute long videos of me commentating over it now uh, some people didn't really enjoy that and I checked like the, uh, the statistics on like how long you guys would watch the video until you close it and most of the time it's just be like people watch the first couple minutes and then they close it and that's definitely understandable like I can't see myself watching 30 minute videos unless I'm in bed on my iPod or something you know so I'm trying this out. If you don't like it, please leave a dislike. If you do like it, please leave a like. I really want to know what you guys think. If you enjoy this, I'm definitely going to keep going. I'm going to make some more because I really do enjoy making these videos a lot more than I do with the commentaries, believe it or not. Even though they take so much more time, I really like making these because, I don't know, it's just more playing with Sony Vegas, um, more like 
actually checking out the clips and taking you know the good moments out and the bad moments out showing you guys what I did wrong what I did well and you don't have to go through that like huge laning phase where nothing goes on and if there is something that goes on I'll just put it in there I can skip through the uh, parts that really are important I pretty much put every kill that I'm involved in um, in this game so if you enjoyed this video please leave a uh, comment uh, subscribe favorite whatever you want just let me know if you like these videos by leaving a like or a dislike so thanks you thank you very much guys <laughs> and uh, thanks for watching see ya